the Milwaukee Bucks became the first team to have 50 wins, clinching a playoff berth after they defeated the Suns 116 to 104. Giannis had 36, while Brooke Lopez chipped in with 21. They won without Chris Middleton, but they will need him for the playoffs. And if they can keep stringing off wins with him getting occasional rest, that will serve Milwaukee very well. Indiana had an awful game against the Pistons, but their best player is back, and they are a different club with Halliburton in the lineup. Indiana has covered the spread in 7 of their last 10. I do not expect them to win, but they will cover the spread here with Halliburton going off. Taking the Pacers here to cover at plus 12.5 right now. Indiana is 10th in pace of play entering this Eastern Conference meeting with the Bucks. They have been porous on the defensive side of the ball, coming in ranked 24th in defensive rating. Milwaukee has been one of the best defensive clubs, 3rd in defensive rating. Although there is a large disparity between these clubs, I expect the Pacers to put together a much better effort, especially after they were thwarted by the worst team in the Eastern Conference three days ago. Milwaukee shot 36 free throws last game, and the whistle will not be as friendly this time around. Therefore, I'm going under the total right now, 238.5. So the two plays we're going to go with again, I'm going Pacers plus 12.5, Pacers Bucks under 238.5. What say you? Let me know. Comment section below. As always, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Get that cash. This is Training a Rabbit.